Nutrition is a fundamental process that living organisms undergo to obtain the necessary energy and nutrients for their survival and growth. In the world of biology, two primary modes of nutrition exist, autotrophic and heterotrophic. These two nutritional strategies differ significantly in their mechanisms of obtaining and utilizing nutrients. This video aims to explore and highlight the key distinctions between autotrophic and heterotrophic nutrition. Autotrophic nutrition. Definition. Autotrophic nutrition is a mode of nutrition in which organisms can synthesize their own organic compounds from inorganic substances. These organisms are referred to as autotrophs and are capable of producing their own food through the process of photosynthesis or chemosynthesis. Energy source. Autotrophs utilize external energy sources to drive the process of synthesizing organic compounds. The most common source of energy for autotrophs is sunlight, which is captured during photosynthesis. Some autotrophs, however, use inorganic chemicals as an energy source in a process known as chemosynthesis. Examples. Common examples of autotrophs include plants, algae, and certain bacteria. These organisms contain specialized cellular structures, such as chloroplasts, that facilitate the conversion of sunlight into energy through the process of photosynthesis. Carbon source. Autotrophs use carbon dioxide, CO2, as their primary carbon source. During photosynthesis, carbon dioxide is converted into glucose and other organic compounds, providing the necessary energy and building blocks for the organism. Heterotrophic nutrition. Definition. Heterotrophic nutrition is a mode of nutrition in which organisms are unable to synthesize their own organic compounds and rely on external sources for obtaining preformed organic molecules. These organisms are referred to as heterotrophs and must ingest and digest complex organic substances to derive energy and nutrients. Energy source. Heterotrophs obtain their energy by consuming other living organisms or organic matter. They are incapable of capturing sunlight or harnessing inorganic chemicals for energy conversion. Examples. Animals, fungi, and certain bacteria are examples of heterotrophic organisms. They exhibit a wide range of feeding strategies, including herbivores, plant eaters, carnivores, meat eaters, omnivores, consumers of both plants and animals, and decomposers, organisms that break down dead organic matter. Carbon source. Heterotrophs derive their carbon from complex organic compounds present in the food they consume. These compounds, such as carbohydrates, proteins, and lipids, serve as the primary sources of carbon for heterotrophic organisms. Autotrophic and heterotrophic nutrition represent two distinct approaches to obtaining energy and nutrients in the biological world. Autotrophs have the ability to produce their own organic compounds through processes like photosynthesis or chemosynthesis, while heterotrophs rely on external sources, consuming preformed organic molecules to meet their nutritional needs. Understanding these differences is crucial for appreciating the diversity of life and the various ways organisms have evolved to survive and thrive in different environments. Metabolic processes. Photosynthesis in autotrophic nutrition. Autotrophic organisms, especially plants and algae, carry out photosynthesis, a complex metabolic process. In photosynthesis, chlorophyll-containing cells capture sunlight and convert it into chemical energy. Carbon dioxide is taken in from the environment and through a series of biochemical reactions. It is converted into glucose and oxygen. This process not only provides energy for the organism but also contributes to the oxygen content in the atmosphere. Digestion in heterotrophic nutrition. Heterotrophic organisms employ various mechanisms for obtaining nutrients from their food sources. The process of digestion is fundamental, involving the breakdown of complex organic compounds into simpler molecules that can be absorbed and utilized by the organism. Digestive enzymes play a crucial role in breaking down carbohydrates, proteins, and fats into smaller units like sugars, amino acids, and fatty acids, respectively. 
nutrient uptake autotrophic nutrition autotrophs absorb nutrients primarily through their roots in the case of plants or directly from the surrounding environment in the case of algae and some bacteria in addition to water and mineral uptake plants absorb carbon dioxide through tiny pores called stomata on their leaves these raw materials are then utilized during photosynthesis to produce glucose and other essential organic compounds heterotrophic nutrition heterotrophs have specialized structures for nutrient uptake animals for instance have digestive systems comprising organs like the stomach and intestines where the breakdown of complex molecules occurs nutrient absorption takes place in the small intestine where these molecules are transported into the bloodstream and distributed to cells for energy and growth adaptations and evolution autotrophic adaptations autotrophs have evolved various adaptations to optimize their ability to capture sunlight or utilize inorganic chemicals plants for example have leaves with a large surface area to maximize sunlight absorption and specialized cells chloroplasts containing chlorophyll for efficient photosynthesis some bacteria in extreme environments have adapted to use chemicals like hydrogen sulfide as an energy source in chemosynthesis heterotrophic adaptations heterotrophic organisms have evolved diverse feeding strategies based on their ecological niches predatory animals have sharp teeth and claws for capturing and consuming other organisms herbivores have specialized dentition for plant consumption scavengers are important because they help recycle nutrients by breaking down and eating dead plants and animals ecological significance autotrophic nutrition in ecosystems autotrophs form the foundation of ecosystems as they produce the organic compounds that serve as the basis for the entire food chain they are primary producers and support the growth of heterotrophic organisms including herbivores and carnivores heterotrophic nutrition and trophic levels heterotrophs occupy different trophic levels in an ecosystem herbivores consume autotrophs carnivores prey on herbivores and decomposers break down the remains of dead organisms this interconnected web of interactions is essential for maintaining ecological balance and energy flow in ecosystems in conclusion while autotrophic and heterotrophic nutrition represent contrasting approaches to obtaining energy and nutrients both play vital roles in the intricate web of life understanding these nutritional strategies enhances our comprehension of ecological systems and the adaptations organisms have developed for survival and reproduction